What is home performance? I'm Corbett Lunsford with Green Dream Group in Chicago, and I'd like to help answer that question. A lot of my clients who are homeowners and the contractors that we train all ask that. So here's my 4321 explanation for what home performance actually is. Four. There are four elements to home performance. The one that you probably think of first is going to be heat flow. If you look around your house and think, hmm, what could I use here to make it more energy efficient or high performance? You probably think more insulation and better windows. By the way, that's probably not what you actually need. But at least we're thinking about it, so that's good. One element that you probably would not realize is important is airflow and pressure. Very few people understand airflow and pressure truly and understand how to measure it and to figure out how it's going to affect things in a home. This leads to a lot of problems in homes and people don't realize this. Moisture is another element on the list. And by the way, my list is getting more important as I go down. Moisture is going to kill the house faster than anything else. And it's a key ingredient in air quality problems. Air quality is the most important element on my list because if your children are not healthy and you're not happy living in your house, who cares how energy efficient it is in here? By the way, energy efficiency is clearly not what we're talking about here since it ends halfway through my list and it's the least important half. Now, once we take these four elements and we understand, first of all, that they interact with each other in every home all the time and how we start to measure them so that we can make our recommendations, the three recommendations that I'm going to make are always starting with air sealing. Now, if you were to open up the phone book right now and look under air sealing as a category, you probably won't find anything as of the date of the making of this video. That's sad because it's very, very important. It's cheap. It can be done effectively one time and never again. It does not need to be maintained or replaced, and it does not cost any electricity uh, or gas for that matter. Next in line is always insulation. If insulation happens before air sealing, it actually won't work. That's a big secret. So if you're going to hire somebody to insulate, make sure they air seal as well. Now, those two things are exactly the same cost-wise. They don't cost anything to maintain or replace. What does cost a lot upfront and cost to maintain and replace is the HVAC. HVAC is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. And also, we count water heating and things like that. So the HVAC is the third recommendation that we're always going to make on any home. But if you don't get the first two, then it doesn't really matter if you take your furnace and you throw out the old one and you put in a new high efficiency model because the first two things on my list did not get got and now we're just dealing with a drop in the bucket. Now, we deal with two main systems in a home. If you look around your house right now, you probably see a microwave and some lamps and a ceiling fan, things like that. Really, for a home performance professional, there's only two systems that we care about. One is the envelope and the other is the HVAC system. HVAC we already discussed, but the envelope is uh, the thing that's going to always defeat the HVAC. So that's why it might not be your air conditioner's fault, it might not be your furnace's fault that you are uncomfortable. The envelope is made of two things. It's the air sealing and the insulation. You're starting to see a theme here, right? The air sealing and insulation is effectively the very nice, uh, expensive parka that you buy for your house so that you're not just wearing a blanket that's got a bunch of holes in it out in the wintertime. That would be silly for a person to do, and it's equally silly for a house to do. Now, there is only one goal for doing all of this stuff where we analyze the four elements uh, and make our three recommendations within the two systems of the home, and that one goal is always control. It is not energy efficiency, as I already mentioned. Energy efficiency is a byproduct of control over these systems. The main thing you'll get out of this is your family gets more comfortable, your house is more durable, it's worth more when you sell it, uh, and you're happy, you've got peace of mind, you got what you paid for out of your contractor because the only way to demonstrate control of a home is with performance testing. Performance testing is the ace in the hole of home performance. The reason you hire a home performance contractor over a normal contractor is that contractor can prove that they gave you what you hired them to do. So if they don't actually meet their goal, like for example, if they're going to be hired to air seal your house by this much, if they do not hit that, you do not pay them. And that is the way that all of these contractors work now. So you should absolutely expect a guarantee on the work that you have done in your home. You should actually expect that next time you build a home, it's going to be awesome and you're going to know for a fact that it's awesome because you had it tested. So we've got a lot more to talk about. I hope that you click on one of the links over here. In the meantime, I'm Corbett Lunsford. This is Green Dream Group. Tune in next time.